All right, it's time for our pet of the week. Susan is back with us from the Connecticut Humane Society. Susan, I love this story of this pup. He is doing things a little bit later, a little bit of a late bloomer. That's right. Uh, we'd like to introduce everyone to Simon. Simon says, adopt me, especially, <laughs> if, especially if you're a dog who wants a buddy. This guy, his top requirement for a new home is that there is another dog who is confident, maybe wants to be a bit of a mentor. Uh, Simon needs a teacher. He's only five months old. And until he came to us at the Connecticut Humane Society, he didn't really learn how to be a dog. He didn't have the socialization and training that he needed. And that's such an important age, those first few months. Um, he has just been having a hard time figuring things out because he didn't have uh, what he needed during those early early months and weeks. So we've been oh, with him uh, with some teacher dogs. He's been hanging out with other dogs to learn, oh, hey, it's okay to go up to a human for a cookie. Mm -hmm. This is how you play. He didn't know how to play. And so we've been working the past several weeks with him on that. Oh, he is so cute. So he needs a good big brother or big sister dog to sort of show him the ropes, right? Absolutely. That is going to be essential for him. And it has completely transformed him now that we've been pairing him with some other dogs. And another strategy that we used was just having him be an office helper, um, sitting at the front desk with people that he can just kind of observe. He can take a step back if he needs and just watch people. When somebody walks by, throw him a treat. So again, working on that positive reinforcement so that he understands humans are good and they bring good things like cookies. Well, he's such a sweetheart and he is still a puppy. So he's got a lot of that puppy energy. Someone's going to have to be prepared to get him out for a lot of exercise, right? That's right. Yeah. Again, you're going to want to go slow and really work up to probably walks outside time in the yard. You want to go slow, but he definitely is going to need to get that energy out. And so if there's kids in the home as well, we think maybe 10 years old and up so that they also can understand and be on the same page that he's not your typical puppy. Uh, you can't just go rushing at him. He's not going to come running to you for attention. You want to help him go at his own pace and just really encourage him and work on that training together so that he can learn to trust and, and really be confident in himself. Oh, I think he's going to do great. Susan, thanks so much for sharing, sharing and showing us a little bit more about Simon. It's cthumane.org for more information. A lot of people are watching right now and saying, okay, where do I go? Thanks so much, Susan. Absolutely. Thank you.